ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಎಂ ಎಸ್ ಎನ್ ಐ ಪ್ರಸಾದ್ ಅಸಿಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ಡಿಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೆಮಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಏರೋನಾಟಿಕಲ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಟುಡೇ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಡಿಸ್ಕಸಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಡಿಸ್ಯಾರಿನೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಬೈ ಲಿವರ್ಸ್ ಆಸ್ಮೋಸಿಸ್ ಮೆಥ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಡಿಸ್ಯಾರಿನೇಷನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೆಂಟ್ ಬೈ ಡಿಸ್ಯಾರಿನೇಷನ್ so here d e stands for removed salination means salt content in the water so the process of removing of salt content in the water is known as desalination desalination of water is also known as brackish water treatments Here, brackish water is also known as water which contains excess of salt. So, by using desalination process, salt can be removed from water. So, that is known as desalination of water. So, this desalination procedure can be applicable to reverse osmosis method so let us see the what is the reverse osmosis how we can remove the salt content from water by using reverse osmosis method so coming to the introduction brief introduction about reverse osmosis so it is a type of water purification technology that uses semi permeable membrane so it works on concept of diffusion so we know that what is the diffusion diffusion is the nothing but migration of ions from one region to another region which is based on concentration concentration parameter so that is a diffusion so reverse osmosis the principle involved in reverse osmosis technology is diffusion so what is the diffusion nothing but migration or movement of solvent molecules from high concentration region to low concentration region reverse osmosis is also known as hyper filtration reverse osmosis can be removed many types of molecules and ions from the solution first let us see the what is the osmosis the solvent naturally moves from an area of low solute concentration to an area of high solute concentration called osmosis the solvent naturally moves from low concentration area to high concentration area that is known as osmosis so we can see the flow of solvent in this diagram so suppose let us consider some beaker which is separated by semi permeable membrane with the help of semi permeable membrane the beaker is separated into two parts in among these two parts one part that is right side part contains low concentration that is how we can say that low concentration here we can express the concentration with respect to contamination contamination of the water so in this region less contamination of water present in this region high contaminated water present 
So here sorbent moves from low concentration region to high concentration region. So this is the direction of movement of sorbent from low concentration region to high concentration region. So this is the known as osmosis. So, the movement of sorbent from area of low contamination to area of high contamination is known as osmosis. That means less concentration side to more concentration side or area. The movement of sorbent molecules from less concentration region to low concentration, high concentration region. So that is known as osmosis. So here osmosis is a natural phenomenon. So there is no required, it does not require any external forces or external pressures. It is a natural occurring phenomenon. Whereas coming to the reverse osmosis, It is the process of forcing a sorbent from high concentration region to low concentration region through a semi permeable membrane by applying pressure. That means it is a reverse to osmosis. So usually what is the osmosis? Low concentration region to high concentration region. Flow or movement of sorbent molecules from low concentration region to high concentration region is known as osmosis. So reverse to that phenomenon that is known as reverse osmosis. So in reverse osmosis, sorbent molecules moves from high concentration region to low concentration region through a semi permeable membrane when applying external pressure. So we can see here in this diagram. So here this is the low concentration region. Low concentration. That is the contamination is very less in this region. Contaminated water is very less. Whereas this one is the high concentration region. So these two regions are separated by semi permeable membrane. When applying external pressure, sorbent molecules moves from high concentration region to low concentration region through a semi permeable membrane. So this is the high concentration region, this is the low concentration region. So with respect to contamination we can say that which one is the high concentration region and which one is the low concentration region. But in this process it requires some external pressure. So this process is known as reverse osmosis. So the movement of sorbent from high concentration region to low concentration region through a semi permeable membrane by applying external pressure or in the presence of external pressure that is known as reverse osmosis. You can see here this is a reverse osmosis method. So here there is a two regions, high concentration region, low concentration region. So this one is the high concentration, this one is the low concentration region. These two regions are separated by semi permeable membrane. So salt water is present at high concentration region. Fresh water is present at low concentration region. 
So, as per our principle of reverse osmosis, water which is present at high concentration region that is towards salt water that is moves towards this side low concentration region. By applying high pressure or in the presence of external pressure. So in the presence of external pressure while salt water migrates from high concentration to low concentration region through a semi permeable membrane whatever salt present in the water will be stopped by semi permeable membrane the yes, semi permeable membrane act as a ion selective membrane So this is a contaminator that means salt molecules and coming to the uses or applications of reverse osmosis method. So drinking water can be purified by using reverse osmosis method and wastewater treatment also we can, we can apply reverse osmosis method and production of hydrogen also we can by using reverse osmosis method and in food industry with the help of reverse osmosis method we can produce maple syrup and reverse osmosis method is used for production of deionized water and what we can remove by using reverse osmosis method so we can remove pesticides and different types of pesticides also we can remove from water by using reverse osmosis method and we can remove salt content by using reverse osmosis method and by using reverse osmosis method, microorganisms also can be removed from water. And we can remove the suspended solids from reverse osmosis method. And some dissolved solids also we can remove by reverse osmosis method and some toxic materials also we can remove and main advantages so what are the major advantages of reverse osmosis method so arbor performs a separating without a page change that's the energy requirements are very low arbor systems are very compact and space requirements are very less than other desalinating systems. Many RO systems are fully automated and designed to start up and shut down automatically. Thus, reverse plants, reverse osmosis plants usually require very little manpower due to their modular design maintenance is very easy and schedule the maintenance can be performed without shutting down the entire plant and the modular design also makes expansion an easy option so these are the main advantages of reverse osmosis. So reverse osmosis plant is very compact and very less space required. And here separation takes place without change of pace. And it is a fully automated system. 
and modular design also makes expansion as easy option. Next coming to the disadvantages of reverse osmosis method. So by using reverse osmosis method, we cannot remove the RNS from water. And RO does not remove the dissolved gases. And in some cases, it removes beneficially healthy minerals too. And disposal of concentrate. And reverse osmosis cannot be applied without pretreatment. So, water reverse osmosis does not erode the water without pretreatment. So, these are the disadvantages of reverse osmosis method. Thank you. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.